Good morning, students. This is class ten science, light, reflection, and refraction. Students, today we are going to study about refraction of light. Refraction of light. What is refraction of light? What happens when light travels in a, the same medium? When light travels in the same medium, it changes its direction. It changes its direction means it gets reflected back from an object. There is only change in the direction of propagation while the speed of the ray of the light remains the same. It changes its direction only, direction of propagation, but the speed remains the same. It is because after reflection, light travels in the same medium. Light travels in the same medium. Now what happens? When a ray of light passes through a material medium, when a ray of light passes through a material medium, there is a change in its direction of propagation and speed. Direction, there's a change in the direction of propagation and speed. The direction of light changes because light travels at different speeds in different media. The speed and direction both of light change. This phenomenon of the change in the direction of propagation of light and speed of light when it enters from one material medium into another material medium is called refraction of light. So we can say when light enters from one medium into another medium, it changes its speed and direction because light has different speed in different media. Followed, what happens? What is refraction of light? The phenomena of change in the direction of propagation and speed of light when it enters from one material medium into another material medium is called refraction of light. Now, as you see, as you can see in this picture, see, you can see in this picture, we'll study various terms associated with refraction. See, this is the incident ray. This is the A O is the incident ray. A O is the incident ray. A ray of light that travels from one material medium into another medium is called the incident ray. It is represented by A O in this figure. Now, what is point of incidence? C. Here it is striking. This is the point of incidence. This is air, one material medium, and this is water. Light is traveling from air into water. This is medium one. And this is medium 2. This is the incident ray and this is the point of, uh, point of incidence. Then a line drawn at the point of incidence which is perpendicular to the interface of the two medium is known as normal. This is normal. CO is normal because the light is incident at this point and a perpendicular drawn over here is known as the normal. The refracted ray. Now light is entering from air to water. Air to water. A ray of light that travel, travels down in the second medium is known as, this is the refracted ray. OB is the refracted ray. The direction of propagation of the refracted ray is different from the incident ray. You can see the light, it should go like this, direction of the incident ray. But it has changed its direction. It has bent towards the norm. The light incident rate should go in this direction of incident rate, but it has moved towards the normal. This is the angle of incidence. AOC is the angle of incidence and BOD is the angle of refraction. Laws of reflection. What now? You have seen the incident ray, the reflected ray, point of incidence, normal, angle of incidence, angle of refraction, and you have also noted that this ray of light has bent towards the normal. Means when it travels from rare medium to denser medium, it moves towards the normal. It moves towards the 
normal. Now, what are laws of reflection? When light traveling in a medium gets refracted in another medium, it does so according to some well-defined rules. This is due to some well-defined rules. The uh, rules. These are known as laws of reflection. These are known as laws of refraction. There are two laws. First law of refraction is the first law states that the incident ray, refracted ray, and the normal all lie in the same plane at the point of incidence. The incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal, they all lie in the same plane at the point of incidence. The second law states that ratio of sine of angle of incidence, the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction for any two media is equal to the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first. Means the ratio of sine i to sine r, the ratio of sine i to sine r is always equal is e always equal to the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first. Mathematically, you can say mu is equal to sine i upon sine r. It is also known as Snell's law. It is also known as Snell's law. Now, you can see refraction of light through a glass slab. Refraction of light through a glass slab. See. This is a ray of light incident, incident ray. This is the incident ray. This is air and this is a glass drop. This is incidence ray. This is point of incidence. And this is a normal over here. The light incident ray has bent towards the normal. Why? Because it is traveling from a rarer medium to a denser medium. So it is bending towards the normal. This is the angle of refraction. And this is the refracted ray. Now, when this refracted ray is coming out of the glass slab, it has become the incident ray and this is reflected ray. See, this is the incident ray. This is normal. This is refracted. Now, you can see very clearly, you can see that light is coming from glass to water. That is from denser medium to rarer medium. So it is moving away from the normal. This is the emergent ray. This is the emergent ray. Followed. It is very clear that whenever light enters from rare medium to denser medium, it moves towards the normal. And when it enters from a denser medium to a rare medium, it moves away from the normal. This is the angle of incidence. This is the angle of reflection. Now again, this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of reflection. Is it clear? In the next class, we'll study about refractive index. Thank you. Have a nice day.